Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of The Hot Seat, a wireless design and development interview series where we talk about the latest wireless technologies, components, and design issues for the wireless design engineering community. Today we are speaking with Armakai Ron, who is the General Manager for the Embedded Connectivity Solutions, or ECS Group, within the Wireless Connectivity Solutions business at Texas Instruments Incorporated, or TI. In this role, Ron is responsible for several product lines, including the SimpleLink Wi-Fi family, SimpleLink Bluetooth dual mode family, and the Y-Link 8 family and TI's automotive wireless connectivity products. Since joining TI in 2000, Ron has held numerous roles throughout the company, including product line manager for high-speed data converters and the industrial microprocessors business manager for the Sotero products and DSP. Additionally, he was the worldwide mixed signal design manager and an RF modem engineer in the analog business. Ron has a master's degree in business administration from the University of Chicago. Additionally, Ron has a master's of science in electrical engineering and a bachelor's of science in electrical engineering from Tel Aviv University in Israel. Today, Ron will be discussing TI's new SimpleLink Wi-Fi family. What problems is TI solving for its customers with the new SimpleLink Wi-Fi family? As you know, the IoT is a big thing nowadays. Everyone is trying to connect everything. And TI, we have many technologies that uh, connects you to the internet or to your cell phone. And the uh, Wi-Fi is a big part of it. C C31 and 3200 uh, enables you to connect basically everything to the internet. So you can connect any MCU. Or in the CC3200 case, it even has an MCU inside and you can just with one device connected to the internet and we call it an internet on a chip solution. You have everything that you need for the IoT inside the device, including the MCU and Wi-Fi and uh, DC to DC and everything. So can you provide the main features of both the CC3100 and the CC3200? Sure, so it's uh, two different devices. The uh, CC3100, uh, as I said, it enables you to connect any MCU to Wi-Fi. It requires a very low memory footprint on the MCU side, so you can use the cheapest MCU that you can imagine and connect it to Wi-Fi. It's something that is not possible today. And the big difference on the CC3200 is that we also have the MCU inside. So you don't even need an external MCU. The MCU looks like any other TI MCU. You have the TI code composer, you can use IAR, you can use whatever you want to program the MCU. And you have an integrated Wi-Fi uh, that enables you to connect to the internet. So then what are the benefits that the customers are receiving from each? So in terms of benefit, there are a few benefits. The first one, it's a, a very low power solution. Today, a lot of uh, most of the Wi-Fi applications are connected either to a power source or using a big battery like a laptop battery or a um, cell phone battery. Here you can just use even two AA batteries and uh, still get the Wi-Fi capabilities. The other thing is that um, because we have the integrated MCU, it provides a very, very cost-optimized solution. You have everything on one chip that you need to connect to the internet. And the third thing is that we have a lot of the internet functionality already integrated into the device. So you don't need to write code. You don't, you're already part of the device. You get an HTTP capabilities. You can do an XMPP. You can do a lot of stuff. It's already included in the device. And then in your opinion, what is it about the SimpleLink Wi-Fi family that sets TI apart from its competitors who may be providing or producing similar solutions? Sure, so uh, there are a few advantages for the TI solution. First, it's a unique solution. There's no other uh, solution in the world that combines the MCU that is really an, an MCU. It's not like the MCU is running the Wi-Fi. The MCU is completely separate. You can write any code that you want on the MCU. It looks like just like any other MCU and you have the Wi-Fi interface. So it's something that none of our competitors have this capability. The second thing, as I said, we are significantly lower power than any other solution in the market. So both the static power numbers, but also the solution was optimized for IoT applications. So if you look at modes, like when you're trying to stay connected with a low data rate, it's very, very power optimized. And uh, the third thing, you can build the whole solution with one chip and very, very quickly gets to the market because we pre-integrated a lot of the internet functionality into the device. Uh, with some of the competitors, something that can take you hundreds and hundreds of lines of code, here you can do with one API. So you don't need the same level of expertise. Even engineers that doesn't have any Wi-Fi background can use the device and get the Wi-Fi benefit into the system. 
And is there anything else that you would like to add or comment on, Amakai, for, that you think is important for our viewers to know, especially with the Simple Link Wi-Fi family? Um, sure. So on top of the device itself, you get a lot of uh, the TI capabilities on top of the device. So TI, uh, we provide a lot of online documentation. You can order the boats online, so you can go to the TI website to get a boat. Um, we have a lot of sample applications that can get you out of the box, basically an application up and running, so you can show it to your friends, neighbors, and bosses. And on top of it, we have a lot of support online, like E2E support. You can get access to our engineers, you can talk with them. And uh, we already see a lot of people developing very unique applications around the CC3200. And we really hope to see uh, hundreds of them coming online now that the device is public. I'd like to thank you, Ron, for joining us on this episode and discussing the Simple Link Wi-Fi family from TI. I'm Megan Zimba, and I'll see you next time in the hot seat.